Our previous videos show what's all included in the K7404 Dissolved Ozone Kit and how to measure dissolved ozone using this kit's standard measuring range of 0 0.05 parts per million to 3 parts per million. However, if you're in a situation where your dissolved ozone levels are higher than 3 parts per million, resulting in a darker pink test result than the 3 parts per million vial included in this kit, you can use dilution to test higher levels of dissolved ozone. Fill your sample to the 12 and a half milliliter mark with distilled water. What you're doing is diluting your sample by half, your dissolved ozone sample by half. You always want to put your distilled water sample in first before adding the dissolved ozone sample. Now I am going to add the dissolved ozone up to the 25 milliliter mark. Add the five drops of activator solution, swirl it, snap off the tip of the ampule, rotate the ampule back and forth several times so the bubble moves from top to bottom and mixes the sample. And then wait one minute. I'm going to compare it to the comparator. It's about equal to the three, three parts per million. So you can multiply it by two and that gets you about six parts per million of dissolved ozone. This video shows how to measure dissolved ozone levels of approximately 6 parts per million by diluting the sample by half. You can dilute the sample by up to one-fifth. Use one part dissolved ozone and four parts distilled water, then multiply the results by five. This would allow you to measure dissolved ozone levels of up to 15 parts per million. Keep in mind that diluting the sample does decrease the accuracy somewhat, but it will still be reasonably accurate.